Hello, Fave Heroes and Mr. Who Reviews. And today I'll be reviewing the new Batman Adventures. You scratch my back. And this is the first time Nightwing focused episode. And uh, in this, he has he teamed up with the Catwoman to uh, take down this. Uh, a smuggling uh, ring by this uh, guy named Ricky the Hook or this the Hook. And uh, it seems Calvin was a uh, uh, playing with Nightwing in order to get this uh, jewel on the cat's eye emerald or something that was in uh, Ricky's uh, smuggling uh, boat or whatever. And then he, and it's shown that Nightwing and the Bat Family minus Robin were actually playing her. And I just felt uh, like uh, the look bad I gave and I can't even realize it's even played. It's pretty good. And Calvin does have a redesign and it's uh, blonde hair, she has brown. And the me or those Calvin's, Calvin's face look like uh, they put uh, Barbara Gordon's face with different hair. Uh, don't know. Uh, turns out they got more cats. Well, I I think there's two uh, reasons. Maybe Isis got lonely, or maybe uh, she got two more to replace Isis, who probably passed away a few years after. I don't know. And uh, they do have, have a Batman and Catwoman uh, talking in this, and it seems like uh, they, their relationship couldn't work out since uh, Batman doesn't really uh, trust her. And uh, I'd say the fight scene in uh, Ricky's uh, apartment when Catwoman and, and Night were in Download information off his computer was pretty good. A bit better than the fight scene in a, or on a Ricky's a ship. And I'd say Ricky has a very big hook. It, it, it could probably get break ice or something. Uh, but I'm just gonna knock uh, Ricky out by dropping the uh, cardboard, uh, well, well, I think a few cardboard boxes on him. Hmm. Oh yeah, I think there's this good scene where Barbara's actually talking to, to Dick and saying there's a strength in numbers and it's actually looking at that old picture of the two of them together. It's kind of a sweet moment so that she probably still care about him a bit. But before that, he, he's saying that uh, Dick can't trust uh, Catwoman even though in back or turn C. Trust the cat on a, a bit. Yeah, a bit of a hypocrisy. But what can I say? Um, the music is good. I kind of get Nightwing's theme. It sounds a bit more uh, upbeat than Souls. Uh, Dick probably has more fun of being uh, a vigilante than uh, the Bruce does. And uh, that's what's end with the uh, Catwoman and Nightwing having a fight in a boat and ten for a propeller. Um, the Nightwing actually what washes up on on sea with the uh, Batgirl as he help him out. He just make a bit of a joke by him working together with somebody, since uh, I think it's. Whole episode was just about where Nightwing to accept in the Bat Family's uh, help since uh, they don't wear what or something like that. And yeah, just the flirt and the Nightwing and Captain do is their doors is a bit weird. Like, I think he's about 10, 20 years older than him. I don't know. And I heard that they had. Do something like, like this 
did something just in comics or work on there, but people just said it's Scott's way or something. And I haven't really heard anything about it being true or not, so. Hmm. Uh, kind of funny nowadays that DC is actually pushing uh, Batman and Catwoman together, whether it's the uh, comic storyline where they're going to get married or the uh, two anime movies where they. When they seem like it's gonna be like it's gonna be a couple, or just say, except there's feelings in that. I don't know. I think it's the probably better if uh, they have like on on uh, off and on a uh, relationship, but eh, I don't know. I usually just say a pair of Batman with the wooden one, but that was me. And uh, I think uh, Dick Grayson's voice actor in it was a pretty good job, and uh, I think all, all the voice actors do, and it's kind of the funny part where the Bat family find these uh, smugglers, and Bat one's just uh, leaning against uh, a, a crane, and like we can get the last one. Yeah, yeah, now. Anyway, it's a cup. I do. Yeah. Later.